Hi Pandas, I'm going to show you how to play the game Circles and Stars. It's a game that helps you learn and practice your multiplication facts. So what you need is a pencil or pen, a dice or number cube, and you can start off by using two pieces of paper or you can build up to doing more if you want to make the game longer. I'm just going to do two pieces of paper to go make things quicker. So first what you do is you take your papers, you fold them in half like a book, and then you'll staple the sides. Once you've stapled your book, you can write the title of the game, who you are, and who you're playing. For the sake of this, I'm just playing myself. So then what you do is you decide who's going to go first, and then you open your booklet. And whoever's going first, you write your name at the top of the left side of the paper, and whoever's going second is on the other side. So what you do is each turn that you have, you roll the dice twice. First time is the number of circles you draw on your paper. Then you roll the dice again, oh, and the second number is the number of stars you put in each circle. The word each is really important for multiplication. All right, once your stars are all drawn, then you write your repeated addition sentence. There are five stars in each of these circles. So there's five, plus five and you figure out the total, whether you're counting by fives or adding up a little bit, you find out that it equals 25. Then here's where the multiplication part is. You have these five circles, so you write five, and there are five stars in each of those five circles, so you do another five, and so five times five is 25. That one's tricky because the numbers that I rolled were the same. And then it's the next person's turn, or four. So remember, that's how many circles I draw first, or herself draws first. And then they roll again, and that's how many stars go in each. Remember, that word each is really important. Okay, you do your repeated addition sentence. and then your multiplication sentence. Okay, and that's how many points herself scored this round, and this is how many points Mrs. P scored this round. And now you just keep playing until you run out of pages. Now that your game is done and you've run out of pages, the back page is actually to total up your scores to see who won. So you can total up your scores all at once. So Mrs. P got 25 the first round. And then I got eight the second round. So I can add them up like this, eight plus five. And then 12. Or you could always add your scores up 
all together. So now I need to find her self scores. And that's how you play circles and stars. Have fun learning your multiplication facts.